Wood, Senior Vice President of Product Strategy for Descartes Systems Group. Uh, route planning and mobile resource management are coming together because of our customers driving the demand for that to happen. Um, the reason that they're asking us to bring these two markets together is because they're looking for a single point of accountability in bringing together what historically have been disparate software, hardware, and carrier networks to really weave together an integrated solution for mobile resource management and route planning that was you know, thought about from the ground up and designed from the ground up to work together. The uh, problem with implementing route planning and mobile resource management technologies separately and making separate choices for which uh, providers and, and pieces of technology to pull from the available choices in the market come into play and after you've made that selection many customers determine that they need those two environments to work together. They need the route planning and optimization technology to feed into the mobile resource management technology. And they need to bring the information back from the mobile resource platform into route planning to foster a continuous improvement process. Um, and that's not always as easy as it sounds, um, especially you know with certain technologies that are in the marketplace today that may be a little older on the mobile resource and wireless side. Uh, it's not as easy to get the information in and out of some of those platforms. So really what um, you know, we're advocating with Mobile Resource Management 2.0 is that um, we go out into the marketplace, find a select group of partners that we work with, pre-integrate those partners into our platform for route planning, dispatch, uh, and route optimization. Uh, and you know, take the uncertainty and risk out of the selection process for our customers by knowing that if we come to the table with a partner or with our own mobile resource management and route planning solutions, uh, that they're going to be pre-integrated and they're going to work together. Um, the challenges that we hear from our customers and folks that we talk to in the industry that they face when uh, making separate selection and deployment decisions for route planning and mobile resource management technologies is they find out after the fact that it's not as easy to integrate the two platforms as expected. Um, some of the older platforms that are out there in either one of those spaces don't integrate well. They don't support a federated model or an inter-enterprise model very well and it's not as easy to get the data in and out of the platforms as you would expect to make them work together. And a key part of the value proposition in making the selection for both is to close the loop on the data between the route planning system and the mobile resource management system to drive continuous improvement and full visibility into your distribution operations. Um, some of the technologies that are available in the market now to improve that situation, you know, really revolve around Web 2.0 technologies and uh, integration technologies that are uh, available in the marketplace now. Some of them we provide, others are commercially available to really help facilitate the extraction of data out of older platforms and the newer platforms are already built from the ground up to have um, a web 2.0 integration model. You know the kind of things that uh, companies should think about when they're looking to make a selection or a deployment of MRM 2.0 technologies, uh, they should think about the, the folks that they're looking at, the vendors that they're evaluating and make sure that um, they're integrated and pro uh, either with the partner mobile solutions or have the kind of mobile solutions they're looking for in-house. Then the other thing that I would say is that you know, they should make a selection decision not necessarily based on um, the way their business looks just today, but think a little bit about what their business may look like in two or three or four years down the road and expand the criteria for what they are making their selections on. Um, today, maybe they're only interested in tracking but choose a partner and a platform that can support compliance or telematics if you think that is a, possi you know, a possible uh, requirement down the road. Because not all of the, the hardware side of uh, the MRM technologies support all of the requirements uh, and certainly not all of the, the software uh, and platform providers out there support all the same requirements. So make a long-term decision when you're uh, selecting an MRM uh, 2.0 provider. Part of the benefits of MRM 2.0 uh, for, for customers involves simplifying the stand-up process and reducing the time to implement the solution. So that's kind of a, a, a technological benefit, uh, a project benefit of reducing the time to value um, for the systems upon deployment because you really have a streamlined situation if you have integrated route planning and mobile resource management. But that's really just facilitating 
the ultimate goal of the solution and what are probably the more important benefits, which is closing the loop between route planning and mobile for continuous improvement, having dynamic uh, updates from route planning and always on optimization technologies to the uh, field workers, mobile workers, um, to have a, a reactive uh, and customer focused uh, delivery force or field worker force. Uh, and then on the way back in, taking the information that you're getting from those mobile devices in the field and tying it into your real-time planning and dispatch processes, again, to drive continuous improvement, cut costs, improve visibility and customer service.